I had a really interesting chat today with a lady who's almost finished my eight-week transformation program. And she was saying for so many years, it was really hard to prioritize herself and her own well-being because she always felt a certain amount of guilt for putting herself in front of her kids. And she's had the realization since she started the program that if she doesn't take care of herself, her mental, physical, emotional, spiritual health, then she can't be there for her kids, for her partner, for her family. And this is a recurrent theme that's popped up with so many women that I've worked with, especially women that have kids. And when you have that realization that, hey, I actually need to prioritize myself. I need to be number one. Uh, because if you're not the healthiest, best version of yourself, then how can you possibly be there for your kids, for your partner in the best way that you can show up, you know? And so when you look at it from the longevity standpoint as well, the healthier, the stronger, the fitter, the happier you are, most likely you're going to have a longer life and you're going to have better health into your 60s, 70s, 80s, maybe even 90s. And that's literally going to be the best thing that obviously you can do not only for yourself but for your family when you can be there for so many years and most importantly be present in a way that you feel your best and so it's just a really powerful thing that ended up coming up in conversation today but as i said it's popped up so many times over the years and um yeah i suppose the takeaway is just like don't feel bad for prioritizing yourself because you deserve it you know so um we'll be interested to hear your thoughts drop a comment down below and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day